There's a um, sort of a philosophic concept that a sufficiently advanced civilization will be able to create uh, a simulation. simulation. Yeah, maybe you've answered this before. A simulation. I've had so many simulation discussions. It's crazy. Okay. Um, so, because because in fact, it, it got to the point where basically every conversation was was the AI AI slash simulation conversation. Um, and my brother and I finally agreed that um, we would ban such conversations if we were ever in a hot tub. Okay. That was like, because <laughs> you know, that really well, kills the magic. We're in a hot tub, um, so, so, so the idea is right. Any sufficiently advanced civilization would create, could create a simulation that's like our existence. And so the theory follows that may, maybe we're in the simulation. Have you thought about this? And a lot. Are we? <laughs> Are we even I, in hot tub? No, so are much so it had to be banned from a hot tub. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's not the sexiest conversation. Are we in? Are we in? Um, yeah. the, the, the I mean, I think here's in my mind like the, the, the strongest argument for the for us being in a simulation, probably being in a simulation. I think is the following: um, that that forty called forty forty years ago we had pong, like two rectangles and a dot. That right. was what games were. Um, now, 40 years later, we have photorealistic 3D simulations with millions of people playing simultaneously, and it's getting better every year. Mm -hmm. And soon we'll have virtu you know, vir virtual reality, we'll have augmented reality. Um, if you assume any rate of improvement at all, um, then the games will become indistinguishable from reality. Just in indistinguishable. Mm -hmm. um, e even if that rate of advancement drops by a thousand from what it is right now. Um, then you just say, okay, well, well let's imagine it's a 10,000 years in the future, uh, which is nothing in the evolutionary scale. Um, so, um, so, so given that we're clearly on a trajectory to have games that are indistinguishable from reality, and those games could be played on any set-top box or on a PC or whatever, and there would probably be, you know, billions of such, uh, you know, computers or set-top boxes, it would seem to follow that the odds that we're in base reality is one in billions. So Tell me what's wrong with that argument. Is the answer yes? <laughs> the argument is probably, I mean, but I just like, is there, is there a flaw in that argument? I mean, someone, but someone. I'm not sure what but, the error. In, all right, no, no, the argument makes sense. So the assumption then is that somebody beat us to it, and this is a game. No, no, there's a one in billions chance that this is base reality. Oh, okay. What do you think? Well, I think it's one in billions. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, this, that seems to be like clearly what the, you know, what, the, what, it, what it suggests. Right. And, and actually, I mean, arguably we should hope that that's true because otherwise if, if civilization stops advancing, then that may be due to some calamitous event that erases civilization. So maybe we should be hopeful that this is a simulation, because otherwise... Because they could reboot it. Well, otherwise, e either we're going to create simulations that are indistinguishable from reality, or civilization will cease to exist. Those are the two options. <laughs>